Hi, welcome to another video in my series on using the Klon series. And I'm assuming that you've seen the other videos that I've done on this. Um, if not, you can always just go back on my website and have a look for the Klon series in the index. Okay, so on that basis, let's see if we can work out the expansion for the function natural log of 1 plus x. You might in fact like to give this a try yourself, so just take a moment to pause the video and you can come back when ready and check out your work solution. Okay, so uh, welcome back if you did have a go. So we've got f of x then equals the natural log of 1 plus x. So first of all we need to find out what f of 0 is. And f of 0, just substitute 0 in here and we've got the natural log of 1. And the natural log of 1 is in fact 0. We next need to differentiate again to find out what the first differential of f of x is, f dash x. And if we differentiate natural log of 1 plus x with respect to x we're going to get 1 over 1 plus x. And I'm going to write that as 1 plus x to the power minus 1. It'll help us when we come to differentiate again. And we need to work out what we get when x is 0. So therefore we're going to have f dash of 0 equals, well, be 1 over 1. In other words, 1. Next, we need to differentiate again. So we go f double dash of x. And if I take this result here, it's going to be minus 1 multiplied by 1 plus x to the power minus 2. And I could rewrite that as minus then 1 over 1 plus x all squared. And if I substitute 0 into here, it follows that we've got f double dash then of 0 equals minus 1 over 1. In other words, just minus 1. We need to differentiate yet again. So if I differentiate again, I've got minus 1 times minus 2, which is plus 2, and then 1 plus x to the power minus 3. And I'm going to rewrite that then as 2 all over 1 plus x, all cubed. And again, if I put 0 into here, I get the third differential of f of x, when I put 0 in, is equal to 2 over 1. 2 over 1, just 2. We'll do it again. Okay, I know it's a bit tedious this, but uh, we need to build up the, a pattern or something that's coming through here. So if we differentiate again, now differentiating this is going to give me minus 6, but I'm not going to write minus 6. I'm going to keep it as minus 2 multiplied by 3. And then we'll drop the power by 1, so it's 1 plus x to the power minus 4. Let's leave it like this rather than writing it as minus 6 over 1 plus x to the power 4. And then if I substitute 0 into here, what have I got? I've just got minus 6, or essentially minus 2 multiplied by 3. We'll keep that pattern. Now if I was to do f of 5, for instance, of x, the fifth def differential, can you see that I'm going to get minus 2 times 3 times minus 4. In other words, it'll be just 2 times 3 times 4. 1 plus x to the power minus 5. Now, when we get these values, if we just put this back into our function up here, OK, McLaurin series, then you'll see what actually happens. We've got natural log of 1 plus x, OK, is equal to the first term, f0, well, that's 0, so that's gone. So we go to this term, f dash 0 of x. f dash 0 was 1, so you've just got 1x or simply x. And then for the next term, f double dash of 0 is minus 1, so we get minus 
x squared over 2 factorial minus x squared over 2 factorial. Next up we're going to have plus f treble dash of 0 which is 2. We're going to, going to have 2 x cubed then over 3 factorial and it will be plus 2 x cubed over 3 factorial. Next term would have been with the f to the 4 of x that will be a negative term and it will be minus 2 times 3 times x to the power 4 over 4 factorial. And it would have carried on. Now we can do a little bit of cancelling here. Let's just put back the natural log of 1 plus x. What is equal to then is x minus x squared over 2 factorial, but I'm just going to rewrite that as simply 2. Okay, but now when we take a look at this term here, 3 factorial is 3 times 2. The 2 will cancel out, just leaving us with the 3. So we end up with plus x cubed over 3. And when we look at this term here, the negative one, it's going to be 2 times 3 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, the 2 and the 3 will cancel with the 3 and the 2 after the 4 here, just leaving you with x to the power 4 over 4. So hopefully you can start to see the pattern coming through. The next term would obviously be plus x to the power 5 over 5, and so on. So this is going to keep going on and in general, we're going to have something of the form minus 1 to the power r minus 1. And it will be multiplied by x to the power r, and it will be divided by r. And r will start at 1, so you can generate all of these terms successively. So, we just put plus and so on there, because the series is infinite. Now be interesting just to look at the graph of the natural log of 1 plus x. It's this red one running through here. And what you can see I've done is I've compared it to just the graph of the first four terms of the expansion, going up to x to the power 4 over 4, the blue graph here. And you can see that it's fairly close to the graph of the natural log of 1 plus x, the red one here. But it does veer off as soon as we get past this one here, okay? And then I've taken more terms in the expansion up to x to the 7 over 7. And again, you can see this part of the graph is now getting a lot closer to the red graph, okay? But then again, it veers off after 1. And it can be shown that this expansion here is valid for a limited range of values of x. And those values of x, okay, are, let's just say it's valid here, valid for x. x has got to be greater than minus 1, because you can't take the natural log of 0, and less than or equal to 1. After that, as you can see, it starts to veer off, okay? So I'm giving this really without any proof, but uh, do accept though that that is how, what it's valid for, all right? Okay, well I hope that's given you an idea then on this expansion then, how we can apply Maclaurin's series for the expansion of the natural log of 1 plus x. And there's plenty more expansions for other functions if you just go to my website examsolutions.net just look under McLaurin's series in the index and uh, you'll see links to those videos. Okay